Yo, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best settings for low-end PCs to get the max FPS and to get no input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3. You need to watch the whole video because the settings I'm gonna be giving you guys will boost your FPS and make your game feel so much better. So if you do want an FPS boost to your game, I'd recommend you watching the whole video. So if you want your FPS to get increased, you guys need to watch the whole video. I'm gonna be telling you guys if you should be using low or high meshes, the best stretch resolution to use, and much more. So now let's get right into the video. So the first setting we're going to be looking at is our game settings. Looking at our display settings, you want to make sure you have your window mode set to full screen because it will give you the least input delay and will make your game run the fastest, as it even says that it will make your game run the fastest. For resolution, you can keep this at native res, which is 1920 by 1080 but if you really have a bad low-end PC and you want the most FPS, then you can put your res to 1600 by 900 or you can use a stretched res. The current res I'm using is 1750 by 1080 which I did make a video on. Currently, that might be the best stretch res to use, but I'm going to show you guys a picture from a guy on Twitter comparing some of the current most popular stretch reses to use. So now that you guys can see this picture, so now you guys can see, depending on the res you want to use, you'll get a different FPS boost, which also depends on your PC. I'd say the best two reses to use on this list will be 1680 by 1050 and 1750 by 1080 Not only because you'll be getting a huge FPS boost, but also because you won't be losing as much FOV. You don't want to use a res like 1024 by 768 because you're going to lose a huge amount of your FOV. But the good part about that is that is if you are using that res, you'll gain the most consistent FPS compared to any other res on this list. But you guys can check out all of the stretch reses if you're interested. Now moving on to your frame rate, I usually say to not cap your frame rate and set it one rate from what you get. So if you have a 144Hz monitor, I would say set your frame rate to 160, which you still can. But if you're on something like 60 or 75Hz and you struggle getting good FPS, then cap your FPS to 60. But if you're using a 240Hz monitor, then you can cap it to 240. Don't go to 3 60 because you're going to be getting unstable frame drops. Move, moving on to the graphics quality, this next step is going to be optional, but lowering your 3D resolution will give you a little FPS boost, which is what we want. But what you don't want to do is put your resolution all the way down because your game is going to look terrible. So putting it to about 85% or even 80 if you want to won't look as bad. And you guys can see when we lower our resolution, it makes our game look worse. But on the good note, doing this will boost your FPS. For your view distance, you want to have this set to near. If you're on performance mode and you have view distance, on near with low meshes on your trees won't be loading properly so you would have to put your view distance on epic if you really care to see your trees look normal but doing that is gonna raise your chances of getting more fps drops so you don't want to do that but for the most fps you want to have this on near and for textures you also want to have this set to low and now moving on to meshes, the best meshes to use right now is low meshes. Ever since chapter 3 started, low and high meshes have had their issues, but as of now, if you want the best performance and less input delay, then you need to use low meshes. Use low meshes because switching to high meshes will make your input delay a bit higher. And overall, low meshes will give you the best performance. Going into our advanced graphics, VSync needs to be turned off. You can put show FPS on, and now for the most important setting on this list is your rendering mode. The rendering mode you do want to be using is of course performance. Performance mode. Using performance mode will make the biggest difference in your FPS and input delay. The only downside of using performance mode is, is if you're used to using DX11 or DX12, then you might not like how performance mode looks. This is the best setting to use if you don't have the best PC. And now for this next step, we're going to be going into the Epic Games Launcher. So once you go into the Epic Games Launcher and go to your library, you guys should see three dots near your Fortnite game. So once you click on the three dots, you have to go to Options. Then you should see High Resolution Textures. You want to make sure this is not checked, so you do want to uncheck this. Doing this is going to be removing all of the high textures basically as it says, and it is going to take the quality out of the game, and it is going to look bad. This is similar to using performance mode and low 3D resolution, but doing this is going to boost your FPS a lot. Now moving on to our game settings, you want to scroll all the way down until you find replays. You don't need to have replays on unless you're making content, VOD reviewing, or something like that, but you should always have these turned off. Turning all of your replays off makes a huge difference in your FPS, so just make sure they're always off, but if you're VOD reviewing or something like that, then you can turn it back on. And for the last settings, we're going to be looking at our sound settings. You should always have your sound quality to low because having it on high is going to decrease your FPS, and there is no need to have this on high, so yeah, make sure you have your sound quality on low. For your visual sound effects, you can either have this on or off. I've had a off for a long time because visual sound effects wasn't good. Now recently everyone is using visual sound effects and visual sound effects is really good right now and having this setting turned on is not going to make a difference in your FPS. So if you want to have
have it on, you can try it out and put it on. And these are all of the settings that are going to boost your FPS in Fortnite. If these settings did help your game run faster and you are noticing more consistent FPS, the least you can do is drop a like and subscribe if you're new. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video.